My name is Yanni, and today I'll be presenting this 2009 Atlantic 195 Center Console. Now, if you are looking for more information on the Atlantic 195, read some reviews from other customers. The boat is essentially a Polar 1900 Center Console. Atlantic became Polar, or sorry, Polar became Atlantic at one point. Uh, and speaking of the Polar 1900 Center Console, it was a very popular boat down here in South Florida. We were a Polar dealer, and we sold plenty of them down here, and it was one of Polar's best-selling boats. This particular Atlantic 195 does have a Yamaha 115 four-stroke on it. Uh, it is under warranty through June of 2013. It does only have 132 hours on it. This is a one-owner boat, and the owner purchased this boat brand new from us and just traded it in on a, on a newer boat, something a little bigger. We're going to start off here on the back of the boat, work our way forward, and then take it out on the lake here. Uh, starting off on the transom, you'll notice that the transom, along with the gun walls all the way around, has non-skid on the top. Makes it very safe to cast off of or take a step on. We do have rod holders, two of them at the transom, and then two more each side on the gun walls. Coming a little forward, we do have access down into the bilge, uh, access down into the bilge and then some storage access. We do have a removable splash wall divider. Two rear jump seats, port side we do have a live well, starboard side we do have some storage. Center of the cockpit here we do have a cooler swing seat with a back swinging backrest. It allows you to either face the console or then face the back of the boat if you are casting off or just relaxing. Plenty of space to keep your drinks cool in that cooler base. And then on both sides of the gun wall, we do have some rod storage. The gun walls also do have combing bolsters. And working our way forward, we do have a console with a nice T-top. Canvas is in nice shape. Four rod holders off the back. And then coming down to the actual helm itself, we do have a stainless steel steering wheel. Yamaha controls, 12 accessory switches, our CD stereo. Yamaha digital gauges, and again, this boat does only have 132 hours on it. On top, we find a Ritchie compass, and then down below, we do have access to our breakers, our battery switch, and our batteries. Two speakers on the console, and then along the sides here, we do have vertical rod holders. That's it. Three on each side, six total. Forward of the console, we do have a removable windshield if you'd like to remove it. Uh, we do have our forward console seat with a backrest. That also provides access down into a tackle tray organizer. Fish box here inside the bottom base of the forward console seat. Some in-floor storage, and then we do have bow cushions on the bow casting deck. They're easily removable, and that provides access down into a large fish box. Forward of that, we do have an anchor locker. And then along the sides here, we do have some low profile grab rails in case it does get a bit choppy. They're also low profile, so if you're casting off, casting off of the casting deck here, they aren't gonna get in your way. I think that covers the overview on this Atlantic 195. Take it out on the water, show you how that 115 pushes it.
Well, as you can see, the Yamaha 115 really is a perfect package for this for this Atlantic 195. Uh, great fuel efficiency and still plenty of power. Overall, boat's in great shape. Uh, it does have the Fighting Lady yellow hull color, which was extremely popular. Uh, plenty of nice features. Great, great boat to get out on the water and go fishing. If you have any questions on this particular boat, please contact our sales department. To view our full inventory, visit marineconnection.com. In West Palm Beach, Florida, Marine Connection, my name's Yanni. Have a great day.